What a shot. That's seventh grader JJ Franks sinking a half court shot to win $10,000. He made three more before that, by the yeah. way, three other shots <laughs> at the Bish Bryan basketball game tonight. Well deserved. I mean, talk about getting buckets. Definitely. Tristan and Adina here as we move to Class B. Yeah, and we're, well, no better way to start than a rematch from last season's Region 8 championship. Stars like Burke Central, a team we featured earlier in the week, taking on reigning region champ Stanley Ranchers, looking for some revenge. And they're down seven. Tyson Ingot drives to the net, goes up strong, count the basket, and one. Ingot pumped up after that one. And a close one tonight. Jackson Hynek in the corner gets it to drop. Stanley retakes the one point lead. Five seconds before the half, Tucker Gordon D. From downtown, gets it to drop as time expires. Blue Jays take a three-point lead into the half. Big win for Stanley, 75-67. Black's Burlington takes the 15-mile trip to Minot to take on our Redeemers. The Knights strike first after Noah Erickson dishes it to senior Colton Francis, and he buries it from the top of the arc. And the Lakers down four with two minutes left in the first. Jake Schaefer knocks down the triple. DLB brings it back to a one-point game, and DLB gets the road win, 56-44. Over Bishop Ryan, Lions hosting South Prairie. Huge first quarter for the home team to say the least. Ramsey Walls drops in the corner three to force a timeout by the Royals. And later off a of steal, Ian Johnson pulling a Timo Cruz with the pull up three in transition. Shout out Coach Carter. Lions lead by 30 after one. Bishop Ryan wins big 78 48. Now on the girls' side, the Ray Jays hosting the Tioga Lady Pirates. First period, Tioga forcing a turnover. Bree Rose driving to the net, kicks it out to Kennedy Kiever in the, for the deep two. The Lady Pirates would start on an 8-0 run. Tioga up 12 later, feed back inside to Peyton Ron, takes the contact and goes up strong for the layup. Lady Pirates up 17-3, and Tioga rolls on to win 64-21. South of State Lions, it's Lemon hosting Bowman County. The Bulldogs coming out firing in this one. Ellie Powell finds Julie Sarslin in transition, part of a 6-0 start for the Bulldogs. And Cowgirls facing a double-digit deficit in the second. Jordan Kahn trying to dig them out, gets the foul and the bucket. Bowman County, though, gets the road win, 54-31. Now to the ice we go for highlights from three different levels of hockey. Definitely, and we begin at the college ranks for a top three battle in Division Two. Picking up this one in the second period, Marauders leading by two. Seth Cushing's with the puck, dumps it back to Tanner Escrow, but Jorgen Johnson close off the near side for the save. And Kyle Hayden, it big in the net, a shot from the point deflection. Hayden sprawls out to save it, icing play there, and a low scoring one at Starian, but the Marauders grab the win, two to nothing. Some early afternoon girls hockey, Minot hosting Jamestown. And the Majettes get the scoring started first period. Bryn Hansen pinballs the puck to Peyton Lang. She threads the needle to put Minot up 1-0. The Magi on the power play trying to go up by a pair. But Olivia Sorley goes full extension on this stop to help kill the penalty. But Minot goes on to win big 6-0. And the Minot Minotauros hosting the first place Austin Bruins. Halfway through the first, Toros wasting no time in this one. Colby Joseph slides the puck to Tori Lund. He, and he finds the back of the net, and Minot leading with five minutes left in the first. Chase LaPinta wins the foot race to the puck, just the goalie to beat, and he tucks it through the five hole. The Toros hold on to win three to two. 